For the past four years, a mobile library has been traveling through the most remote areas of the suburbs of Lomé, places like Lake Pasito, where access to books is limited and cultural figures are few. I'm happy because my parents can't afford to buy me books. Through this organization, young people can read and listen to stories during weekends or school holidays. The goal is to pique their interest in reading by offering African stories written in French. Today, the language we teach in our area is French. With this language, we will make our history known to generations. Togolese writer Steve Bojana wants to go further in promoting indigenous culture. He's helped modernize literature curriculums in schools. Until 2020, mainly French classics and African works about decolonization and independence were taught. The African classics, such as Caught in the Storm, Houseboy and Kamara Lai's works, used to be taught in schools. But before we identify with Africa, we must first identify with our own country. It is important to start with Togolese literature. Contemporary Togolese works are now prioritized over Pan-African and global literature. If we want to build an elite that puts their country first, it's important to start with education. In this children's workshop, Pan-Africanist artist Ilom Vince teaches through storytelling. He believes that modern education must be combined with traditional ways that were lost due to colonization. I think we need to decolonize education. We need to teach differently, and the entire design of the school system needs to be re-evaluated, both in terms of content and structure. The UN recommends that all children be taught in the native or mother tongue from early childhood. However, for now, there are no textbooks currently available in Togo's national languages, like Evi or Kabye.